One of the most exciting parts of being a sports fan is seeing prospects break through. It's literally interesting for everyone, going from fans of the player, to fans of the team, to people that love the sport and even people that collect trading cards. Everyone is excited to see the next star arrive, the next phase of the franchise, or even the next superstar. We saw huge breakouts in 2023 with the likes of Corbin Carroll and Nolan Jones. And it's time to have a look at the next possible superstars in 2024, starting with the National League. Kate Horton was drafted by the Chicago Cubs in the 2022 MLB June Amateur Draft as the seventh overall pick from the University of Oklahoma. And for the young pitching prospect, the arrival of newly appointed general manager Craig Council from the Brewers could mean new opportunities and new chances. Council has been a key part in the development of elite pitchers like Corbin Burns and Brandon Woodruff and Kate Horton might be the first pitcher Council gives a shot. Going off his minor league numbers, Horton has been fantastic up until AA. In 21 starts, Horton pitched through 2.65 ERA, has a whip below 1 and almost averaged 12 strikeouts per 9 innings. The Cubs are in desperate need of pitching depth and Horton could help with this problem, initially from the bullpen in 2024. Up next is Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano was drafted by the Giants in the international free agent draft out of the Dominican Republic in July 2018 and got a $2.6 million signing bonus. And it looks like Luciano will get his chance for the Giants in 2024. He already had a taste of the majors in 2023 and he was definitely decent in the 14 games he played. With Brandon Crawford on his way out and a clear open vacancy at shortstop, Marco Luciano is expected to be the starting shortstop in 2024 according to multiple sources and furthermore, Giants president Farhan Zaidi said the team wants to give him the chance to be the everyday guy at shortstop. It will be exciting to see what Luciano can do in 2024. Up next is another Giants prospect in Kyle Harrison. Kyle Harrison was drafted by the Giants in the third round of the 2020 MLB June amateur draft from the De La Salle High School. He already got a brief stint in the majors in 2023. He started in 7 games, pitched to a 4.15 ERA and had a whip of 1.15. He is rumored to be part of the brand new Giants rotation in 2024. The Giants rotation was in shambles for much of the 2023 season and Harrison, together with Logan Webb, Keaton Wynn, Tristan Beck and Alex Cobb, could be an integral part of the 2024 starting rotation. You can expect a lot of strikeouts from Harrison once he gets settled at the major league level. In the minors, he has a strikeouts per 9 of around 14. His ERA might be a bit high, as are the walks. But he's an exciting young arm to watch for the next season for sure. Up next is Colson Montgomery. Colson Montgomery was drafted by the White Sox as the 22nd overall pick in the 2021 MLB June Amateur Draft from Southbridge High School. He's the number one White Sox prospect and he's recently been named the Fall Stars League MVP. It has been mentioned by White Sox manager Chris Getz that Montgomery is unlikely to make the team on opening day. The White Sox declining their option on Tim Anderson is definitely a move in the right direction for Montgomery. Montgomery has been great in the minors, often praised for his maturity at the plate. Standing out is his OBP in the minors. Montgomery gets on base with a 400 OBP, helping him to an 828 OPS in double A ball. Considering the current situation of the White Sox and their horrible 2023 campaign, chances for Montgomery might come sooner than anyone expects in 2024. Pete Crow Armstrong was drafted by the Mets as the 19th overall pick in the 2020 MLB June Amateur Draft from Harvard Westlake High School. He was part of the Javier Baez trade to the Mets and the Cubs' number one prospect is set to break through in 2024. He made his debut with the Cubs in September and although he struggled to adjust to the MLB level at the plate, he showed his exceptional speed with this incredible catch. His numbers in both AA and AAA are impressive, posting a 283 batting average, 826 OPS and he swiped 37 bags. There are some questions about his readiness for the major league level, as he's still waiting on his first hit through 19 plate appearances. A lot will depend on where Cody Bellinger goes, but he's definitely one of the most watched prospects for the upcoming season. Jordan Lawler was drafted by the Diamondbacks as the 6th overall pick in the 2021 MLB June Amateur Draft out of some college in Dallas with an incredibly difficult name. Lawler has been nothing but an absolute star in the minor leagues, playing up to an 874 OPS in the minors in 2023. He combines explosiveness with athleticism, shown by both his near 500 slugging percentage and 36 stolen bases. He already made his debut in 2023 and it's quite a similar story to Armstrong. He's shown his speed, 
but is still waiting on that first hit. There is little news on his playing time outlooks for 2024, but Lawler is definitely a top prospect and one of the more exciting ones in this group. Jackson Merrill was drafted by the Padres as a 27th overall pick in the 2021 MLB June Amateur Draft from Severna Park High School. He is the number one Padres prospect and 9th overall in the 2023 MLB prospect rankings. Although Merrill only played double A ball in 2023, a lot of people give him a chance to be on the opening day roster depending on his performance in spring training. In 2023, Merrill played to a 273. 338, 444 slash line and a 782 OPS. Pretty good numbers for a player in his age 20 season. A standout number is his 18 strikeouts in 211 at bats. In his entire 2023 season, he struck out 62 times in 511 plate appearances. That means he strikes out once for every 8 plate appearances he has. Merrill is a gamer at the plate and will find ways to put the ball in play. Merrill can play shortstop and left field, and with both Soto and Grisham gone, Merrill could become an integral part of their lineup if he's considered ready by the Padres staff. Noel Vimarte was the main piece in the Reds Mariners Luis Castillo trade in the 2022 season, and the young prospect has shown why. The number one Reds prospect already made his debut, and unlike some other players on this list, was nothing but impressive. Marte played to a 315, 366, 456 slash line and an 822 OPS in his first 35 games for the Reds. His numbers in the minors show that Marte is an above average hitter, with a decent amount of pop in his bat and a lot of experts and Reds insiders expect Marte to be on the opening day roster and possibly the opening day lineup in 2024. It will definitely be interesting to see if he continues to reproduce those numbers in 2024. Numbers like that make him an early Rookie of the Year candidate for sure. Evan Carter was drafted by the Rangers in the second round of the 2020 draft from Elizabethton High School and the number one Rangers prospect has already shown some of his enormous potential in the 2023 postseason. You're probably thinking, bro, Evan Carter doesn't play in the NL. And I know he doesn't. I realized I made a mistake just now and the video was basically fully done and I've decided to leave him in. Uh, I was f tired yesterday night when I was making the video and I just completely made a mistake, missed out on it and basically the video was completely done before we noticed. So I've decided to leave him in. You'll probably see him back at the AL edition of this video. But yeah, that's why Evan Carter is apparently an NL prospect in this video. Enjoy the video guys. And the final player on this list is Jackson Churio. Churio is one of the most hyped up prospects in recent years and this hype has only increased after the Brewers announced they signed him to an 8 year, 82 million dollar deal, the biggest deal ever for a player that hasn't made his major league debut yet. His numbers in the minors are obviously incredibly impressive. He spent the majority of his 2023 season in double and triple A and posted a 283, 338, 467 slash line. 805 OPS in 128 games. You can't forget, Jackson Churio is only 19, about two years younger than everyone else on this list. Curious enough, the Brews have announced that he won't make the roster after spring training, which is interesting they state this three months in advance. However, teams have come back on their word before and a fantastic spring training performance might mean we see him in the majors very early into the season. This statement was also made before he inked this massive deal, which might increase the pressure on the Brewers to let their star boy and number 2 overall prospect make his debut in 2024. Who do you think will be the biggest star out of this group in 2024 and do any of them have a shot at Rookie of the Year? Let me know down in the comments below and thank you for watching. Peace.